Say it. Just, I wanted that. Love you, Dad. Love you. <laughs> he beat cancer three times. So I'm sure glad I wouldn't be the be in this position for sure if he was if he if he didn't. So I love you, Dad. Go ahead. Anybody? Nick, all right, let me start it. And it's not a negative question. You may assume it's a negative question. <laughs> You're five and oh. But you, you clearly left one comment. Sure, yeah. You always, you know, Howard, I'm going to have to go watch the tape. And, and I, what I can say is I know we were in third and long in that tight field again. Um, and it's just about staying. It's it's about what we, you know, what we call on first and second down, how we execute it. So it's everything of, of what, what that's going to look like. We're doing a nice job moving the ball up and down the field. Um, and we got to we got to do a better job on first and second down in that high red zone. I think that's where it's happening a little bit and, and into the low red zone. Um and so, uh, you know, I'll have to look at the tape. Uh, but yeah, we lost left some points on on the on the board today, but uh, or on the field today. But credit to them too; it's a good defense with you know arguably the best player in the NFL over on that other side. Um, and so, you know, sometimes it's them making a play too. And you brought that up. He's the best player yet. He has never had a sack against the Eagles. Huh. Uh, who do you want to credit for that? Shoot. <laughs> I don't tell you, I didn't do anything. Um, you know, great job by the offensive line. We got a we got a great offensive line. Um we got a great offensive line um that that falls a lot on them, right? You know, that's it's hard to it's hard to help on that guy with tight ends or backs when he's lined up inside. Now they do a good job of moving him all over the field, but you know, the onus falls all on the offensive line and so Man, no, nobody else I'd rather have than those those five, six, seven guys that are in the rotation, um, you know, and, and Coach Stoutland, you know, coaching them up. Whew. They sure did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, we got to do a better job in the first half. But, you know, this is a player's league, and good players can take over games. And, and I, I got so much respect for, for Sean and the way he coaches the game. Um, and then for Cooper Cup, um, I think my wife told me that Jacob, my son, on Thursday wore Cooper's shirt to school. So we're going to have to have a conversation about that when uh, when I get home. Um, but, you know, I thought our defense, again, can't let him go off like he did in the first half because I think he had, when I looked at the statue, I think he had some 90-some yards in the first half. But excellent job of our defensive staff adjusting. Um, we got to get to those a little bit sooner. Um, but uh, they did they did. They did a nice job there. They didn't have very many possessions in the first half, though, right? I think they had three because we did a good job of keeping the ball away from them. Um, and so, you know, when you have only three possessions, sometimes it's hard to, you know, identify exactly what's going on. They're not in a, they're not quite in a groove yet. And one of them was kind of a two minute drive, right? So really only two. But we we do have to do a better job coming out of the gates on a on a player like uh, with the caliber of of Cooper Cup. And then just I can't say enough good things about what I you know my thoughts on on Matt Stafford and tough tough accurate knows where to go with the football. I mean that I think that's a good football team that we yeah. beat today. Oh shoot! Um, football's fun, uh, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hide my emotions. Like it's it's fun. Um, I can't make plays anymore doing anything. So I, I celebrate when our guys make big time plays, and it's and it's so much. Like I want the culture for the Philadelphia Eagles to be: you can have great relationships, have a ton of fun, and still be highly highly demanding. And that's our culture. And so when it's wrong on the coach's part or on the player's part, we're going to correct it. We're going to be demanding, but they're going to hold everybody to the standard, uh, including myself. But when it's time to celebrate and have fun, we're going to do that. And we're not going to apologize about that because that it's, we work, we work really hard and, and we're a family out there and we and we just love having fun together. And so Hassan made a great play. Um, you know, he was our closer today. He had two big time sacks. I told you they came, they come in bunches and, uh, and man, that was that was awesome to see. Jalen had flip side of that after I believe it was a third down play. Both of you were pretty animated. We're gonna be highly demanding. We're gonna have a ton of fun. 
we're going to have great relationships and still be highly, highly demanding. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, I, I, I just told Quez the coaching point on that play. I think I'll just keep that between between him and I. Um, I don't know, maybe y'all can read my lips on that one, I, I, maybe. Uh, it's cause, but, you know, Quez made a big play on the, the first play of the game when, to get us out of a little bit of trouble uh, on that play. And it, we're going to need him to, to make plays. And I, I know this, when his speed is on the field, it changes us as an offense. So um, we'll make the correction, um, you know. It's just the way football is. There's there's a lot of emotions in it, and uh, you know, like I said, that's our culture. Jalen looked like he uh, had the three runs for first down. Some of them were scrambles, and he could play breaking tackles. Something that we didn't see much of in first year. Would y'all say they they couldn't do it anymore, or so oh, something like that? <laughs> as much and there's a reason why now all of a sudden we saw a little more of it. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just that's the way games go, right? Um, that's just the way the games go. Um, you know, uh, we always want him to pre- protect himself, and we always are going to look to protect himself. And there's going to be games, you know, he's got to get freaky out there. I think that's how he says it, right? And so, uh, um, and I thought he did a really nice job today of making some plays um, that only he can make. Hey, Nick, uh, you talked about Hassan and Sacks coming in bunches. Dallas, you got him going on that first drive. Huge game. Was that the game plan, or is that just how things work? <laughs> Oh, uh, guys. All right. So, you know, like I said, throughout everything, he's always, it's always runs through those three guys. And it is, and, and I get it. Y'all got a job to do. And so when you look at the box score afterwards, it, it, it you're not going to know, hey, this was designed for him or that. And that's okay. I mean, it, but everything is designed for those three guys. And um, it, the ball just found his way there uh, th- today based off of how they were playing. They're, he's always a major part of it. Um, and AJ is always a major part of it. Devontae is always a major part of it. How much did Dallas have today? I don't even know. Uh, 117. It's going to go like that, right? It's going to go like that. And now I get it. It was, in a, it was a long stretch where it wasn't. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's not – the effort is always there. It's always running through those, the, through those three guys. And it just found his way. It, 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 the ball found the way. Jalen did a good, nice job of getting him the football when the coverage, uh, you know, called for it. Like the big one that he had was really designed for Smitty. And, but I thought that, you know, it looked like they held Smitty. He got held up and he went to the second read. Um, it's just the way it goes. Um, and so we're going to need all three of those guys to be the type of offense we know we need to be uh, and want to be. We're going to need all the, the pass game to continue to go through those three guys. Um, so, yeah, good question, though. Hey, what the, decision, decision, the, decision, the, the decision to uh, go from quarterback sneak at the end of the first half, I guess what went into that and then how big was it just in the whole play? Yeah, huge. That was exciting. That was fun. That was that was that was fun right there. You know, um you know, they had a I imagine that was a a great time to be a fan for, you know, the they had the big completion for a touchdown. Then it, then we come back down and score a touchdown with no time left. Um I just have confidence in the in the play that nobody likes that we run. Why did you change the, you originally you weren't gonna run that play, right? What do you mean? Quarterback sneak? He's under center. Oh. I didn't see all the other I'm not going to give away those secrets. I'm not going to give away those secrets. You don't always have to be a push to, to run it. I know, I know what happened. Yeah. Yeah. There, there was a report today that the competition committee is going to look at it. I know it's asked you a lot about that. Of course they are. Yeah. yeah. Last night in our meeting, we, we, we talked a lot about growth mindset. Um, growth mindset. That was our message this week, that we constantly have to be in this, in this steady growth Right. I think two years ago I talked about a flower. Right. All right. But we talked about growth mindset. And what we did is we looked at the evolution of what we've been through quarterback sneak. We've grown in that. Not only have we been highly successful, we've been, we've grown in that area with different formations we've run it with. Right. With et cetera, et cetera, the fun, the fundamentals that it all starts with our guys. It all starts with Jason Kelsey and, and, uh, Jalen hurts. Um, but then the fundamentals that these guys go to is like, so we watched our evolution of the play and the growth of that play. It's just a great example of what we want to be as a team of it. Does, yeah, it doesn't look that if we stayed the same in our quarterback sneaks from 2021 till now, defenses would have caught up to it. But we've grown in the areas, and we've grown in our fundamentals. And our players of Jalen, I don't know if he squats any more than 600 now. I don't think he puts 600 on the bar anymore and actually does it. But he's grown in the weight room. And Kelsey, right? And so, and then we watch the rest of the league. And quite frankly, they can't do it like we can. Um, and and uh, 
hey, we'll, we'll play by the rules of what they, what they say to do. Um, it's a good play for us. Um, yeah, and, I, it, it, you know, the competition committee can look at it. Um, but until then, people have to stop it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I thought the defensive staff, like I said, did a nice job of adjusting. Um, sometimes, you know, they had a two minute, they had two drives in the first half and then that two minute drive. And so would you like to get to some of the adjustments earlier? Yeah, but you still aren't, we held the ball for a long time on offense. So you still don't know exactly how it's going. Now they, they were getting them the ball, right? And so it was just about taking them away. Our defense, we can make all the adjustments that we want to make. And then, but it's about the players that went out there and executed. Uh, so great job by our, our secondary there of, you know, and it was, a, it was a group effort right there to take all, you know, because um, the rookie, man, he's a good player. It was, it was, it was impressive to see him um, alive. Um, and you can see why he's done what he's done uh, so far. And so I was really impressed with him. Um, but our guys did a really nice job and, uh, of, of, you know, just stepping up and, keeping the momentum that we built going into the, into halftime. You know, we talked about that. This is a game of swings. It's a game of momentum. It's a game of emotion. And we had the momentum. They had the momentum. We had, the, then we got the momentum and uh, we kept it because in the defense, did a nice job to start that second half, um, you know, um, with a stop. Um, again, I think I, I said this before you got in here, Jeff. Um, that's okay. Um, but it's it, we got us. It, it's first and second down. That's what's going on. We're getting ourselves in the third and long, and you know that's tough. It's it's tough as the field shrinks. The deeper you get in third down, I mean, anytime you get deeper in third down, it's going to be harder to convert. But like especially down there, and so you know we got to put them in better positions to succeed. It's going to. I got to look at the tape completely, but you know it's going to always start with us putting them in positions to succeed, and then the execution. And so I, let me look at the tape. I'll have a better answer for you, but. It, what's happening is the third and the third and longs, um, you know, so I know we were two of six day, really two of five. Cause I'll take that last one. You know, we were just trying to, to run out the clock. I, I didn't want to risk a, a blocked field goal. And I thought the only way that they could win that game is if they blocked the field goal, returned it, got an onside kick and did something like that. So that's, that's why I didn't kick a field goal there. Um, so, but, so I wouldn't count that one, but two of five, two of five is not our goal, not our standard. And we got to get better at that. Um, but credit to them too. You know they got good players and they had, they have a good scheme. I got a lot of respect for that staff over there. I'm sorry. Say that. Say that one more time. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, being in manageable. I think. What were we on quarterback sneak? <laughs> That nobody wants us to run anymore. <laughs> so, I mean, being third and one, that's huge, right? Uh, you got a lot of confidence in that. And so, um, you know, being successful on first and second down, our offense line did a great job, and I thought we were really physical out there today. Uh, we, you know, we got some dirty yards out there in the run game today. Um, and so, you know, it was manageable, but also making some plays on some scrambles on, on third down, like third and long by Jalen and some and some big completions. You know, um, I think Swift had one nice one out of the backfield on third down. Um, again, I got to look at the tape, but I felt like we were in third and manageable um, quite a bit. All right. All right. Still Good, John. Thanks.